Okay, we're recording. Cool. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Lord help me. It's day 30. It's day 30. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait until quarantine's over so I can be around people again and stop driving my own self insane. So it's really warm in here. I'm gonna turn this down. So I am now gonna get really crafty and turn an old lingerie piece into a handbag because this is not getting used. And I just told the whole camera that I'm not fornicating. Okay, Sarah. I'm so bad at this. Fuck. And when am I ever this uncomfortable? This awkward. Let me redo that again. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be walking you through how to turn this old shirt lingerie piece into a cute little satin evening bag, so stay tuned. I think that was as simple as it's gonna get. I'm just gonna keep making an ass of myself. So this is inspired by the Firoshiki Japanese textile wrapping. They're just their creative way of doing this. Um, I found this on the internet and I thought it could be really cool to turn this old piece into something new and rework it. Let's get started. First, I'm going to cut off the lace because I'm not going to use that. The lace and the straps are going to be cut off. So take your handy dandy scissors and just get going. These are the world's shittiest scissors. I mean, this is real makeshift, you guys. These scissors belong to Thumbelina. A Coco Chanel is shaking right now. Yeah, now we're cooking with gas. So, story time. This was never worn. This was an old lingerie piece. And I never wore it because... It just makes me look a little bit too much like a fire truck. It's just like, it's a whole lot of red coming at you really fast. Oh my god, my mom's gonna kill me. Huzzah! Tit number one is gone. Titty number two is off. Just, I don't know. Not my color. Like the second we're out of this quarantine, it's massage like to feel someone's hands on me oh. as I'm cutting up lingerie I, I sound really sad <laughs> and now you're done and this is what you can wear just kidding let's get into it oh. it's Easter I don't even celebrate that so we have a nice clean edge here this was the bottom of the garment and I'm going to use that as the top. I'm going to turn it inside out. So where I cut the lace off, that doesn't look very nice. Um, so what I want to do is I want to make this the bottom. And I want to make this so no one can see it. So I'm going to stitch up these seams together. So I don't have a sewing machine with me. So we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get it in there. Got it. Thread that needle. I'm going to like double thread the needle because I don't know how strong this thread is. You take the end of that and you knot it. Yep. Okay, let's get sewing. Hold it together.
I know what I'm doing now. The bottom is sewn up and I opened up the sides here. So now we're going to take this corner and knot it. Then again on the other side, we've got two little, two little bunny ears here, which is appropriate because it's Easter. How cute. And then we do the same thing to the other side. So here's a close up. I combined the two bunny ears together and sewed them to make the handles. Sorry I didn't film that part. My ADD was through the roof at this point and trying to stay on task was just killing me. And that's it. And that's how you make one. I'm exhausted. I don't want to look at fabric. That's it. It was done.